What's up everybody? This is Javian Pride with Blacktop Racing up in North Alabama. And we're bringing to you a car that one of my great friends decided they wanted me to do a review on amongst uh, another versus car. We'll be talking about that shortly. Uh, but what we have here is a 1967 Camaro. This is the first year Camaro produced their first production vehicles. This is um, not a numbers matching car. This is by far what this car would have been coming from factory. Uh, the engine is a 454 big block and is hooked up to a Munchie four speed manual transmission. Uh, Munchie, I think I'm saying that right. I'm not 100% not positive, but these cars came with, um, without actually air conditioning, uh, radios, all the stuff that you would normally use would be like options. It'll be uh, options you would add on to this car, but this car is actually without all of them. So pray for me when I'm driving it in this Alabama heat because uh, it was painted in a single stage black color. As you see, it's actually a really good paint job from the guy that was, uh, the car was bought from, but it's currently on a drag pack. It's sitting on a hard tire. So it's, you know, it's not really made to do a dig race in but we will play so stick with me shortly i'm gonna show you a little bit what it can do you know i'm not gonna get too crazy because it's still sitting on drum brakes so if you know anything about cars drum brakes are not built for stopping they're just not you you can go fast but you know that's your ass because you ain't ain't, ain't too much you can do after that if you ain't planning to stop really early but um interior is red um Seats aren't on rails. They're bolted actually to the to the floor, floor pan. So yeah, this is gonna be one of the most mechanical, I guess you can say analog cars. They don't have, it doesn't have anything kind of assisting or guiding you from killing yourself or, you know, airbags, seat belts. Nah, yeah, none of that. So, you know, enter at your own risk. You know what you're getting into. I mean, it's a muscle car. It's fun to drive. It's, uh, it's something I enjoyed a lot because this, if many of you do not know, this car did belong to my father. This was his dream car. He want, originally wanted a 69, but if you know anything about these car prices, they're like through the roof. The more in condition and original and well-kept you get in these cars, just like the prices can go up to forty, fifty thousand $50,000. But he found a great deal on this car. And uh, driving this car really makes me feel like I'm a lot more closer to him. Um, it makes me feel a lot more like, you know, he's still with me and everything. So, I really appreciate this car. And without further ado, we're going to show you more in depth about what this car has. I'm just going to show you all a little sneak peek under the hood. Um, as I said, this car is uh, its not numbers matching. Uh, I haven't checked the numbers to see what would have came factory on this car. But um, the things that are on this car is, you know, very little actually, because I think somebody was doing a rest of mod on it. And uh, the guy said he was rebuilding it for his son. His son was a younger guy, didn't really appreciate a classic. So a lot of you may appreciate this, which is that beautiful, beautiful, if I can. 454 big block. They got a um, double pump carb, if I'm not mistaken, somebody correct me on that. It did have a four barrel carb on it, but it was running way too rich for the daily driving my father wanted to do. Um, he did get 373 gears installed in it. He had an auxiliary switch hooked up to an electrical fan for the cooling. But as far as that, I mean, this car really didn't, didn't really see much um, as far as electrical work done to it, you know, it's still a beautiful car. It's a classic, it turns heads. It sounds great as you'll hear in a minute. Um, we'll get into the interior. As you can see, it got red t interior, the leather seats. They're definitely bolted to the frame. As you can see, it's no slide rail. And so if you're tall, you're tall, you're short, you're short, you know, you gotta get with it. Let's see the tags. These are like definitely not original. These are definitely like store bought, maybe from AutoZone or something. Somebody try to 
just get it running munchy four speed no ac no radio no nothing so um a square setup would look beautiful on this car maybe even some torque thrust wheels but i mean it's still a real big kick out of it to drive and to, to enjoy going around town you know this car rarely comes out the garage um i wash it i, I put it back in the garage um check fluid levels or whatnot i may try to drive it once every two weeks just to make sure you know batteries stay charged and whatnot but yeah isn't it isn't your every, everyday driver really it's a really like a time piece even more so for me because i really enjoyed the same things my dad enjoyed which led me to doing this channel and getting into cars the way i was and uh yeah, it means a lot to me. So yeah, if we're talking about uh, horsepower specs or torque specs or anything like that, uh, I couldn't really tell you. The car's never seen a dyno. Uh, it hasn't had any power mods since in the possession of us, uh, my, my father, that is. Uh, like I said, he um, he did do the 373 gears. It was very a very different, especially in a, a four-speed car. You can imagine the gears are like, really close together so first through third is like uh 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 it's right there in between fourth is a longer gear so you can maybe get some highway driving out of that but again like this car is not going to see the highway it's more so of um a weekend driver you know go around town you know get some ice cream stop get something to eat or go to a car show and it's, it's very enjoyable and that much to say the least but it definitely will uh get you adrenaline pumping if that's what you're trying to do so without further ado we're gonna get in this car and we're gonna turn turn some corners and uh show y'all what it can do So yeah, we about to get off. As you can already tell, this car doesn't like a big baby. You know, it, it, the more you get on the gas and you know, make it feel that the better off it is. just a thing that you gotta wanna drive like you gotta really want to get into driving or Assistance is no hydraulic clutch, it's a cable clutch. Uh, 
speaking of clutch, don't know what kind of clutch is in it, you know. Is the clutch uh, rated too low for this horsepower or too high? I don't know. content like this I mean I got plenty of cars that I'm pretty sure people will love to see about I got performance cars I got trucks hopefully y'all won't see me struggle struggling bad driving them oh uh, yeah it smells like good clutch in here Blacktop racing. 